afternoon or morning, uh, Elise Turner here. We're gonna do something a little different today to give you guys some options in your workouts um, as we are on these online studio classes. So I'm gonna do two 30 minute segments pushed into an hour. So you have the option to stop in a half an hour and either do two quick short workouts targeting core and then the other one is going to be target balance and a little bit of plyometric if you're looking for that um, little bit of burst of cardio in your relaxing yoga practice during the week. So I'm going to get you guys started um, with the core portion of this workout. So I'm going to have you go ahead and stand up. We're going to come right into motion here. I'm going to have you ground your toes again, just kind of rolling through your feet, picking up each toe, and then just gently planting it down, kind of finding that firm footing, bringing those heels a little bit closer together, inhaling deeply overhead, exhale, take that line breath, inhale it up, hands to heart center. Open to that mountain pose, taking a couple of deep rolls back through your shoulders, just warming up the body a little bit, and then rolling that forward. Again, coming deeply, maybe even a little arch in the back, pressing into that standing cat. And then one more time, inhaling it up. Exhale, lion. Inhale it up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Opening, coming through those shoulder rotations. Just taking two or three here and really loosening up, coming forward. On that third one, rotate it back that last time, opening those shoulders. I'm gonna show you from the side our natural stance is to have that little curve in our body. I'm gonna have you actually place your hand on your pelvis and your glutes, tilting, creating that long, straight spine. So roll those shoulders back, find that pelvic tilt. Again, bringing that spine in alignment. Then tighten those knees, pulling them up and away from the shins. And open those hands, wide starfish fingers, reaching that gaze up, opening that airway passage, finding that mountain pose. Now in India, sometimes they will stand in this posture for up to an hour. It is a strong, active pose. Finding even a little bit of balance as we close those eyes and testing our balance without that vision of a focal point. Just taking a couple of deep breaths here. Bring that gaze forward, starting our movement. Inhale up. Exhale, swan back forward. Deep hinge at the hips. Maybe you don't quite have that flexibility yet. Pedal through those heels a little bit. Drop the crown of the head. Inhale the half lift. Press it through. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slight bend in the knees. Reverse swan. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale it up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale the half lift, press it through. Exhale, forward fold. Slight bend in those knees, last time. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale it up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale the half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now I'm going to turn to the side. You'll be in that forward fold position. I'm going to have you walk your hands slightly forward. Again, pressing through those heels. Press back through the palms. Feeling that lengthening through those hamstrings and calves. Go ahead and pedal those heels. Just drawing them towards the body. Finding a little bit of movement and lengthening here. Belly is 
pull in towards the spine. Slight bend through those shoulders and elbows. Step that right foot back, left to meet it in plank, roll those shoulders down, back and away from the ears. We're gonna start our core movement. Now remembering that our core involves both our abdomen area as well as our obliques and our lower back and upper back. Our core is a strong platform creating a balance mechanism for our spine. So we wanna make sure to not work our abs too much, leaving our back out of the equation. So again, we're just gonna hold this posture for about 30 seconds here. Now again, if you need to modify, you can drop down to those knees, pulling those feet up, maybe bending a little bit through the elbows to create a little bit more tension, but we're working on that core. So if you can hold that platform, that long plank position, creating that strength in the belly. I always like to remind people, sometimes when we hold a posture for a long time, it seems like forever, but if I told you that you only had 30 seconds to live, the perspective would be much different about that length of time. So view each breath for the beauty of building the strength of our core. Again, as we age, having a strong core helps with our balance. So again, we're giving ourselves a healthy bit of movement here. On that next breath, go ahead and pedal back, press into down dog. Pedal through those heels, drop the crown of the head between the shoulders. Breathing through. Then you take those hips from side to side, loosening through that spine. Belly is still pulled in. And on this next breath, peel up onto those toes, inhale it forward. Again, body and shoulder coming a little bit over those fingertips this time. Round those shoulders down, back and away from the ears. We're gonna hold this again. Again, finding that beauty. Now another option here is to come down onto the forearms. Again, still holding that strong plank, but that takes a little bit of that weight off the shoulders. If you have shoulder issues or wrist issues even, this is another beautiful place to take this posture. Now again, we don't want those glutes lifted. We don't want them dropping down. We're creating that strong position where the name comes from, that plank position, like a board, long and straight and beautiful. Make sure you're using that breath to work your way through this. Finding 10 more seconds here. Again, breathe through, find your strength. Again, if you're in that full plank, again, finding the beauty of that breath. And on that next breath, go ahead and press back to down dog, pedaling through those heels. Beautiful job. Maybe coming a little bit, bringing ear to ear to that inner part of the arm. Again, lifting those shoulders a little bit. And then finding that steady plank. Again, drop down between the shoulders. Inhale, black to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows close to the side. Peel open that belly, taking that opposing position. And the upward facing dog, again, pressing those shoulders into the palms, relaxing those glutes. Again, we're really peeling that belly open after tightening, finding a little bit of lengthening here. And on that next breath, go ahead and draw it back to tabletop, dropping the hips, rotating onto our seats. And we're going to come into that boat pose. So we're going to first lengthen through the spine, pulling up through the crown of the head, breathing through. Go ahead and sit back a little bit, finding those sits bones. Maybe you just tilt those feet a little off the ground. Then pull it up. Now we're not holding those legs. We're not using that to take the weight away because we want that core work happening here. Pulling the bellies in towards the spines. Again, it's just kind of a balancing position. You can also place those fingertips right down by your side 
but not, again, balancing with that, just using it so you don't teeter over. We're gonna inhale those knees to chest, exhale, press it forward. Inhale in, exhale, extend. Inhale in, exhale, extend. Inhale it in, exhale, extend. Finding four more at your own breath and pace. Again, remembering to transition with that breath. We're trying not to hold, we're using that to accelerate that movement. Last two. And last one, inhale, hold that boat position, take it to that full boat if you can. And inhale, pulling those knees in one more time. Again, if you really rearrange that real estate just a moment, find those sits bones again, shake it out just a bit. And then we're gonna take those hands to heart center, interlacing those hands. And we're gonna pop it over to each side. Now again, we're gonna to try to hold steady. Try not to let those feet drop or wave around. We're coming through those side obliques as well as look that into that transverse abdominal area, those lower abs, breathing through. And 10 more. Set those feet down, fingertips behind the glutes. Find that beautiful counter position, soles of the feet pressing into the ground. Reach that belly lengthwise in that reverse plank. Breathe it through again. Slowly exhale those hips down. Taking one vertebrae at a time. Exhale slowly. Again, reaching each vertebrae into the mat, controlling that movement. Inhale those arms overhead. Take a beautiful body stretch, arching that back off the mat. And we're gonna inhale, reaching fingertips to toes. Exhale it down. Inhale it up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale it down, inhale up, exhale down, two more. Get long body movements, we're getting a little bit of belly opening in between each one, last one, and exhale it down. Inhale just those feet, Back skyward, take those palms down by the side. Now again, palms are facing towards the floor. We're gonna use this as kind of a little platform. Now again, this is coming deep into those lower abdominals, that transverse abdominal area. So it's a very small movement. We're just gonna raise those hips directly skyward. So we're trying not to go like this with our feet over our head. We're trying to point those feet straight up to the sky Again, it may just be two or three inches off the floor. Again, pressing through. So we can do 10 of those. And draw the knees to the chest. Take a little relaxation through that lower back. Again, gently rocking from side to side. Taking those knees, pressing them down into your shoulders, kind of reaching them towards your armpits almost, pressing that lower back into the mat. And then draw those knees back to the center, extend through that right leg, letting it just hover and then switch to that left knee. Pulling that right knee in closely, exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Now this may be enough for you right here. 
If you want that next step, chin away from chest, pull those shoulders up off the mat. Again, continuing that long extension with our legs. We're not just flopping those legs out there, we're tightening that quad, pulling that belly in, pressing the lower back to the mat. Again, really breathing through that abdominal core area again, strengthening. And again, if you want that next step, take those hands interlacing behind that neck, coming to that alternate knee, reaching the opposing elbow across. And try to come to the outer side of that knee. Now, if that's not in your practice, you can just reach to that knee. Maybe that's where you're coming here today. Keeping that long extension through the leg, elbows out to the side, really finding that beautiful rotation through the belly. Finding another five or six on each side, using that breath. And last one. Pull those knees to chest, shoulders come to the ground. Pull into a little ball, balancing on that spine. Pull the chin to the chest. Forehead comes towards the knees. Maybe you can even extend those feet skyward, keeping those hips off the ground. Again, slightly balancing on that spine. You can use your arms here. Exhale those hips down. Bring those fingertips again. Now, hands and palms facing towards the body. And we're going to exhale, reaching to the right, pull that hip towards your armpit. Again, coming into that oblique. You should feel a little pinch there. Exhale to the opposite side. Pull that left hip to the left armpit. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Now again, those shoulders are off the mat. Again, really pressing into that core, but we're focusing primarily on the obliques right now. Two more on each side. Keep that shin away from the chest, again, protecting that neck. Last one. Exhale those knees into the chest. Bend it out, take that long body stretch, back arching off the mat. And take those hands, interlace them one more time behind the lower back. Knees come to chest, kind of pointing them skywards. And we're gonna inhale knees to chest. Elbows, exhale, point those, touch those toes to the ground, inhale it in. Exhale, inhale. Now again, each time those elbows are gonna open up, drawing into the knees. Again, trying to come onto that little focal point of our spine. Three more. And hold that position. Take those arms down to the belly. Drop those feet open, soles of the feet coming together, coming into that wide diamond position with those legs. Now again, maybe you want to just set those palms on the inner thighs and just exhaling as we open. Those hands interlacing them with pointer fingers forward, and we're going to inhale, pull it up. Just a small movement, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. As you continue that motion, keep in mind belly again pulled towards the spine, lower back pressing into the mat, chin away from the chest. If you want a little bit more of a challenge here, you can slightly lift those hips off the ground just an inch.
Four more. And last one, exhale it down. Draw those knees together, taking those feet to hip distance apart. Take those fingertips towards the heels, press up, open that belly with a beautiful bridge pose. Taking the palms, placing them right on those sacrum bones, back of the hips there, and just relax that body. Then letting that belly and that spine arch lengthen through that torso area. One more deep breath. And slowly release from that position, dropping those hips, walk those shoulders back out. Find that last counter position, pulling the knees to the chest, shoulders up off the mat, forehead towards the knees. And slowly begin to rock the length of that spine. Maybe just two or three times here. And inhale it forward, coming straight through, finding that tabletop position. Now again, we're going to come through that spinal work now, coming onto the balance, bringing that core work through our upper and lower back. So we're going to press out, reaching as we find that spinal balance. Left hand comes forward. Now again, modification is just to keep that right heel back. Both hands planted on the ground. If you have it in that practice, you can reach, pressing that heel back. Inhale, reach that arm forward, long belly stretch. Again, make sure that foot is at hip distance, at hip height. Again, if it's dropped down here, try that for just a second. You lose that little pinch in that lower back, but we're trying to strengthen that lower back muscle. Pull that back up. Breathe it through, inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale it in. Exhale, extend. Two more. Breathe it in. Exhale. Last one. Inhale it in. Exhale, extend. Set that palm down. And drop that knee. Go ahead and drop those hips from side to side, just wagging through. Again, open that hip a little bit. And bring it back to center, taking it to the opposite side. Let's press that left heel back. Again, remembering this is your modification if you need to stay right here. Shoulders down, back and away from the ears. Right arm extends forward now. Again, press that heel back. Inhale, reach with that hand, beautiful torso. Making sure that left hip is dropped parallel with the floor. Heel is at hip distance, bringing that to that strengthening height where you're feeling just that little pinch in that left side of the spine. Inhale, elbow to knee, exhale, extend. Inhale it in, exhale, reach, two more. Inhale it in, exhale. Last one, inhale it in, exhale, reach and draw. And set that palm down, knee to meet. Coming through just one or two cat and cow poses. Again, reaching through. Not to loosen that spine. Inhale it through. Go ahead and walk those palms forward. Round it back, coming back up to that plank pose. Shoulders down, back and away from the ears. Exhale it down. Inhale, draw those feet together, pull them up off the mat. Now again, baby cobra here, elbows reaching towards the back of the room. Hold that posture. Now again, if it's in your practice, you can come to that full Superman, reaching arms overhead. Breathe it through. And exhale, right ear to the mat. Inhale, press it up to cobra. 
Exhale it back down. Feet come off the mat again. Finding that modification, that Superman. It can either be down by the side also. Avoid that full expression. Again, every time we lengthen further away from our body, it becomes a little more challenging. For three, two, and one. Exhale that left ear to the ground. Inhale, press it up to cobra. Open through that belly. Inhale, walk it back up. Bring those knees underneath the body. And we're gonna do what's called camel backs. So this is similar to that camel pose. Now again, we wanna protect that lower back. So you may want to just put your hands kind of right where your quad is, just to guide yourself. And we're going to exhale it back. Inhale, reach it straight up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Last one, exhale back. Inhale it up. And we're going to take those hands to heart center, pressing those hips forward. Again, just gently tilt back, lengthening through that gaze, bringing it skyward, not letting that head drop back. Maybe you can drop the tops of the feet towards the floor. Again, coming a little bit deeper into that spine. Relax the glutes. Protecting that lower back, bring those fists to the sacrum bones, slowly draw it up. Exhale, bring it forward, hopping up onto those toes, walk it back to forward fold. Inhale to half lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, now I'm going to have you walk the length of your mat. So we're going to come feet wide, toes pointed to the outer edges of your mat. And I'm going to have you bring your palms down to the floor, excuse me, toes facing forward. Sorry, not to the corners. Toes facing forward. Now once you've established this position, maybe you've got a block in front of you is okay also. And have you bring those hands to the hips. Holding that position, just the slight movement here, again, coming into that lower back. Slight lift, just three or four inches. Again, we're not bouncing. This is a slow, controlled movement. Again, coming into that lower back. Two more. And that last one, hold that parallel with the floor, bringing those arms, again, extending, adding that little bit of weight, press those hips back, coming deep into that lower back. Exhale those hands down, walk back around, pull that foot back into that plank pose, round back and away from the shoulders, exhale it down. And then pull the soles of the feet one more time. Now elbows are facing back towards the back of the room. Feet are off the mat. Press gently. Just a few inches, exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. On this next one, we're going to hold at the top for three, two, and one. Exhale those feet down. Press it back up into tabletop. Ending in just a few cat and cow poses. Again, releasing that spine. Again, this is a little bit of core work as well. As we pull that belly in. Two more. And last one. Holding that 
position. Go ahead and drop those glutes to the heels. Take one last deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. And you've just given your core a little bit of love. Namaste. If you want to stop the video here, you can join me at another time for the next little piece we're going to do is a balance and plyometric. So two little bit more advanced courses to add into your gentle yoga flow practice during the week. Have a great one. Now, if you're sticking around and you're a little hardcore and you want to do the whole hour right now, if not, welcome back. And again, I'm Elise Turner. We're going to focus over this next half an hour on balance and a little bit of plyometrics. So traditional yoga postures, but adding a burst of a, a little bit of movement, plyometric movement in that posture to help elevate that cardio. Now, I'll show you modifications if you don't want to add that plyo burst. Feel free to still join in this and get a beautiful workout of yoga postures. So I'm gonna have you guys all take a deep breath in. Open those arms, place them behind your spine, fingertips facing towards the body, beautiful stretch back, lift that neck, open up. Inhale, it forward. Coming to that seated cat. So again, interlace those fingers round through the spine. Inhale it up, taking those hands around. Now again, you're gonna walk those fingers. I'm gonna show you from the side here. You're gonna walk those fingers around, trying to grab onto those shoulder blades, or at least imagine that we are. And then I'm gonna have you just gently drop chin to the chest, rolling the shoulders forward, again, rounding that spine back. Nice shoulder opener here. And then gently unlacing those hands, bringing those knees out to the edges. So we're gonna drop into that hero position. So we're gonna place our glutes on the floor. Now, if you have issues with your knees, this is a great place to either sit up onto a block or even take your mat or towel, roll it up underneath you if you don't have a block at home to elevate yourself off of those knees. But what we're gonna do is come into a deep quad stretch here. So again, we're gonna place those hands by our side, making sure our glutes are on the floor, feet close by, knees pointing forward. And then we're just gonna bend through those elbows. Now again, at any point where you're feeling tension but a nice stretch, that's your place to stop. So maybe that's down to your elbows. And again, as we become more flexible, we can come deeper and deeper into these postures, but by no means do we have to get there the first time. Again, this is practice over life. Over time, we'll find that full expression coming to the floor. Again, deep stretch through those quads. Maybe if you're not feeling anything there, you can even lift those hips slightly. Again, just kind of placing the sacrum bones on those fingertips. And listening to your body to find where that stretch is. Any of these large muscle groups, again, we want to focus on for just a little bit of attention and time. They take a little, they're a little more stubborn, I guess is the way to say it. So <laughs> they take a little longer to focus that lengthening and memorization of the muscle group. When you're ready to come out, protect that lower back. First, come up onto those elbows, prop them beneath you, and then bring those fingertips or hands behind you, slowly lifting off, coming back forward. And then we're gonna walk back to tabletop, coming forward, round back over those toes, and down dog. Again, lengthening a little bit through those hamstrings and calves before we try any of these plyometric movements because they're we don't want to snap any muscles. We want them to be nice and warm. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, press it back. Inhale forward. Exhale back one more time. 
Inhale forward. Exhale it back. And we're going to walk or jump to the top of our mat. Coming to that forward fold. Inhale the half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale through reverse swan. Exhale, hands to heart center. So I'm going to face towards you. You can stay at the top of your mat. Again, we're going to come right into some balancing postures. Now, balancing postures work a lot on our core from the previous segment we just did. So I'm going to first, we're going to come into eagle posture. So again, we can bring that foot over. Now, an easier way to get that toe locked all the way behind our ankle, maybe this is right where we stay, if not, is to bend slightly through those knees and then lock that toe around the back taking the opposing arm, left arm, in this case, reaching around to the right palm, and then slowly extending skyward. Get an amazing stretch across the shoulders, breathing it through. Maybe sitting a little deeper. Maybe you have it in your practice to come into a squatted eagle posture, leaning forward, and still finding that balance. Slowly unlace those arms and legs. Coming to tree pose. Now again, tree posture can be right here, kickstanded at the ankle. Again, we want to take and tilt that pelvis forward. We want that long, straight spine. Or that next place would be to bring it up onto the calf. We never want to bring it onto a joint. So this may be where you are here, still pressing that leg back. Or that full expression, bringing it right into the crux of that inner thigh. Again, pressing back through that knee, keeping that body forward. Maybe you want to grow those branches, bringing them up. You want to keep that movement going. One last time, inhale it up. Now I'm going to turn sideways. You're going to stay in that position, that tree position, and we're going to exhale that leg, bringing it right into warrior three position here. Now again, remembering those modifications would be those airplane arms, and we're expanding the back by the hips, right foot is flexed. Inhaling, slowly dropping that left palm to the ground, rotating that hip open. Inhale, the balancing half moon. Now over time, we're going to work on bringing that gaze up to those fingertips. Maybe not today, but over time. If you're there, you can. And then exhale, that palm slowly down. Rotating, make sure that left foot, maybe wiggle Bring that toe and heel. Make sure we're not clenching with that foot. Drop that left palm, coming into the revolving balancing half moon, raising that left hand skyward. And inhaling back up, hold that posture. Slowly bring that knee through, taking that right ankle in your right hand. Inhale, left palm up as we come to Dancing Warrior. First pressing that knee back and then slowly tilting into position. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, slowly bring it back up. Knee to chest, exhale it down. Go ahead and pedal through those heels. Swan dive forward. Shake those legs out. Inhale the half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slight bend in the knees, reverse swan. 
hands come to heart center. Now again, taking that same segment on the opposite side, I'm going to start out facing you, just eagle is easier to see, forward facing, and then we'll come through the other postures, I'll switch to the other side. So this time we're going to take that left leg over the top, again, kickstanding at the leg, first option, bending through that knee, maybe picking up over the quad, finding out if you can hitch that toe, this time taking the right arm under the left arm, Bring those palms together, press it skyward, breathing through. Remember to keep lifting those right toes. Make sure you're not locking and clenching with that foot. That's what creates those cramps in the calves. Maybe exhaling through, crouching eagle if it's in your practice. If not, that's totally okay. Inhaling it back up, slowly unwind. Again, finding that tree posture. Again, aligning those hips, bringing that pelvis forward. Second option here, bent the shin, or again, all the way up into the crux, press those hips back. Inhale, reaching and finding that balance. Exhale down. more time. And slowly bring it through, drawing it to that warrior three posture, arms overhead, or that wing spanning, leaning back by the hips, your option. Deep flex through the foot. Exhale, slowly dropping that right palm to the floor, rotating those hips open, balancing half moon. And slowly exhaling it down, bringing it to the opposite side. Slowly dropping through. Exhaling heel to the floor. Breathing through. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale through reverse swan. And nobody's nerf, but I forgot to do. Balancing. Warrior dancer. So pull that left heel into that left palm and press that knee back first and then slowly exhale it through. And bring that knee back to chest. Exhale down. Inhale through reverse swan one more time. Exhale, deep hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift. And exhale those glutes to the heels, pop up onto those toes. Now we're gonna try a fun one today. We're gonna try dragonfly. So in the privacy of your home, you can have a little giggle. Um, <laughs> this is a challenging posture, so if you want to grab a couple of pillows too, it'd be a great place to have them. So I'm going to have you walk your feet out first and foremost, wider than hip distance apart here. Now we're going to take our hands way back behind our comfort level at the opposite ends of our mat, fingertips facing forward. And then we're going to sit those inner thighs right on the upper part of our triceps. So it's kind of creating a little tiny tabletop, so to speak, right above those elbows. Now, this may be where you want to stay and just kind of try to bring one toe off the mat at a time. Maybe just let your toes kind of hover. That kind of feels cool just to find that balance. Over time, we're going to work at lengthening those legs, coming into that full dragonfly posture. 
breathing it through. Now again, like I said, we can find a little giggle with ourselves, setting those feet down. We're right here to come into, the <laughs> into that tiger pose. Might be a little bit more comfortable. Bringing those palms wide. Again, using those triceps again, inner part of the thigh and knee. And then just using that body weight, pressing everything, all your weight into that, completely relaxing, opening those inner thighs. Now sometimes you can even make this into a balancing posture. Again, just kind of rolling forward, taking those toes off, kind of a modified feeling to crow. But again, the purpose here is really to open those inner thighs. And when you're ready, go ahead and sit back down on those heels. Now we're gonna come into a few plyometric postures like I had shared with you. So we're gonna end that balance segment. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Again, feeling, coming through just some slow rotations through the upper body. And that tends to be a little bit of core work as well. Inhale it up. Exhale, open, interlacing those hands behind the lower back. Again, pressing through, pull those shoulder blades together, reach that gaze skyward, slight back bend here. Press those hips forward. And inhale it back up. Round through a standing cat, arching through that spine, pull the belly in, reach those shoulders forward, and bring it back up. So, again, we're going to start with a couple plyometric movements. So, I'm going to have you come right into high lunge warrior, stepping that right foot back. Now we're gonna bring hands to heart center just to help with balance. Now I'm gonna show you the modification first. If you do not wanna do a plyometric and get that heart rate too high, or if your heart rate naturally just comes up higher, and you would take it at a little quicker pace, stepping that left foot back, high lunge. So on a breath count, again, slowly alternating between the two. That would be your modification. Plyometric would be to come through that posture. Again, remembering to keep that knee behind that ankle. Slight hop. Now again, that's gonna bring your cardio level a little bit higher. Two more. And last one. Hold that position, deep belly breath. Hands at heart center. Deep breath in. Exhale, swan back forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands heart center. Opening side. Now again, we're going to come that wide position, toes facing out towards the edges of our mat. Again, hands are at heart center. So we're going to bring that deep lunge, deep, pressing the torso over the hips. Now modification would be simply to reach up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, again, taking that on that one breath count, adding that little bit of heated movement. Again, anytime our body breathes quicker, that heat level raises. So again, creating a little bit more cardio. The plyometric burst of this, hands at heart center, simply bring it off the floor. Again, just a small movement, gently coming back down, using the weight of that torso. Coming deep into that stretch. Three more. Two. And last one. Hold that position. 
So then you bring those elbows down to the inner thigh. Walk through, dropping it just a little bit deeper. Toes bring you a little bit forward. Even hands at heart center here, pressing through those knees. Slight inhale, reach it up. Heel to those feet together. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, swan dive forward. Last time, inhale, reverse swan. And exhale, hands to heart center. Now again, I'm going to face sideways. We're going to take one last deep inhale, hinging forward. And we're going to exhale those palms down, stepping it back to that plank pose. Now, mountain climbers, modified here. Again, just bringing one foot forward, drawing that flexibility on one breath count. Trying to keep those hips low. And if you want that full plyometric expression, again, a little bit of burst here. Belly pulled into the spine. For four, three, two, and last one. Exhale, press it back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. And last time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, those knees down. Bring it through. Round it through a few cat cows. Opening that spine. And bring it through. Go ahead and sit down onto those heels. Sweep those feet forward. Now you feel, should feel that body temperature a little bit raised. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to exhale it down one vertebrae at a time. Again, drawing the feet upward, taking it to that happy baby. So we're going to interlace those fingers around those big toes, bringing our heart rate back down. Now again, press those knees towards the armpits or towards the floor. Or you can add a gentle rock here if you'd like. Bring it through. And if it's in your practice, maybe lengthen through those legs, adding a beautiful extension stretch here. And we're drawing those feet skyward. Pressing up into a candlestick pose. Now, modification first, sorry, would be to just leave that into waterfall. So deeply flexing the feet, palms towards the floor. And again, just letting that blood flow return towards the upper body. If it's in your practice, we're going to draw those knees in, coming up onto those hips, supporting through the sacrum. Again, shoulders facing forward. Belly drawn in, and an inhale, reaching those feet skyward, trying to pull that alignment into the spine. Now slowly drop into plow. Bend up. 
back out of it. Dropping one vertebrae at a time, rocking through that spine. And inhaling up. Now before we come into our final Shavasana, since we're all working from a home practice, maybe there's some postures that are challenging. Sometimes balancing calf moon is something we want to achieve, trying to get our gaze up to our palm but don't have the opportunity to do. So before we end and go into Shavasana, I'm gonna show you one quick methodology now that you're home and have the stability of walls and can stop your video and come back to it. If you want to try to do balancing half moon, it would be to kind of come up against the wall. So facing that bottom foot parallel, maybe about six inches out from the wall, foot extended, or hand and arm extended, excuse me. And then gently drop forward, using that wall as a guide. Again, your heels against that back wall, stopping at about hip height here, letting that palm drop down, or maybe you have a block here, if you need, or if you can get all the way to that floor. Now again, if you have a block, that's totally fine. You're completely balanced right now using the posturing of the wall here. And then you can extend that arm just gently against pressing the shoulder into the wall, and then easily reach that gaze towards the sky, reaching that fingertips, finding full accomplishment in this position and just letting your body feel what that feels like. And over time, as you're able to do that away from the wall, again, we'll get there in our practice where we're able to hold that position and without using the practice of the wall, we'll be able to get there. But let your body feel that sensation. Give it a try. Exhale it down. Go ahead and bring those hips down. And comes to heart center, slowly one vertebrae at a time. Bring it into that Shavasana. Again, you're on your heels towards the ceiling. Take those arms to a wide T position. And just windshield wiper those arm, those legs, excuse me. Dropping the knee to the ankle. Just feeling that sensation. Let that spine go. And bring it back to center. Then maybe you want to take those diamond legs, just letting that open up into butterfly today. Palms gently placed on the inner part of your thigh. As you quiet and relax that breath, letting that heart rate slow again. And finding yourself saying, I love, and mention one thing about yourself that you love. Whether it's the way you think, some part of your appearance, maybe someone in your life and the things you do, but find one thing to say that you love about yourself. next breath. I want you slowly to press up onto those elbows, pressing up into those palms, and coming to a seated butterfly position. Again, placing on those fingertips behind your hips, lifting slightly, reaching that gaze skyward. Back center, slowly letting those feet come to a 
folded position, opening yourself to that beautiful energy. Inhaling up and exhaling down to that beautiful place of love. And repeat what you just found that you love about yourself. And trap it in your heart, share it forward and help someone else find that part of themselves that they love. Namaste.